Well guys, we're back at the Totally Awesome Fishing Show again. Yes, we're continuing our Geek Week. We're going to call this Geek Week. And we're at Lyndon Lewis Marina, up at Shepparton. I'm here with Craig, and he's going to really hit you with the mice, with the really nice stuff for sort of trawlers. What would these be like? Charter boat work or bigger vessels? They look like they could go on a you know luxury game boat in Monaco or somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Lawrence as part of the Navico family. Um, and Avoca also have uh, the Simrad products and also B&G for the sailing under their, under their, their name as well. Um, so we'll take a look at the, the Simrad products here that we have there, our NSS range of plotters, because these are also used for the, the sport fishing market. They're uh, a little bit more plush, as you can see. Uh, so these can be on anything from your, your nice big gin palaces um, to some of your small commercial charter fishing boats, trawlers. Um, they start in a seven inch and go right up to the 12 inch display here. Um, and these are multi-touch recorders, so they are um, push button as well as touch screen. So we can see here we've got the key push buttons for uh, the most sort of the general buttons that you're most likely to use. So you've got pages which takes you home to your menu, um, and then you've got a, the touch screen buttons on the screen here as well. So these are all multi-function: chart plotter, sounder, um, engine data, radar, the lot. Um, we can pull up the side scan sonar that we see here. Um, as I showed you on the uh, uh, on the HDS series in the low rents brands, um, with the side imaging sonar, we're looking down at the, the wrecks and uh, obstructions on the on the seabed, but from an overhead view. So if we see something that we like, we can just simply go through and pause the sonar, and you just press and hold new waypoint, and that's then create a waypoint directly over the top of that wreck. And we can do one at the front, one at the back, one at the port and starboard side, and then we've mapped out that wreck on the on the chart there. Um, another nice unique feature that we have both on the, the Lawrence HTS series and the, uh, the, the Simra brand is we actually have iPad connectivity. We have a little product called GoFree. Um, now what it does, we have an iPad app, um, which we do for the Simra range, and there's also a Lawrence version. Um, and we can see here, we've got three plotters showing on my iPad screen. Now what I can do is I can select, uh, I'll select the 12 inch plotter here that's in the middle, and that will now show us the same image that is being displayed on this, this plotter over here. Now, not only is it mirroring it, I've also got full control. So I can go pages, and that is now controlling the menus that are on that screen. So we can see as I cycle through on my iPad screen, it changes what's on the screen. There. So I have full control. So if I'm a big game fisherman, um, I might have these mounted in at the helm where the skipper is, um, and then your crew or the guy that's fishing that's out in the back of the boat, they could have one of these and they could be looking in at the, the sonar data and saying, right, we've got a big drop off coming here. We can see all the fish that are hanging out, so get ready. So not having to run in and out of the wheelhouse to keep checking the uh, the sonar screen. What distance does that work um, anyway? You know, if you if, if... So it's actually like a, it's a, a Wi-Fi module that's plugged into the back. Um, so the distance, it's you're going to have to go pretty far. Same as in your house, you'd have to get outside the house and at the end of your driveway for, for it to, to break the, the signal. So we just paused uh, the, the side scan sonar here on this nice little image. Uh, we're looking at the, a wreck from above. Um, so we can see here that uh, it's actually sort of diagonally uh, out from our position. So the stern of the wreck here is closest to us, probably about eight to 10 foot away. And if we look at the range here, we can see that the bow is over at the sort of the 50 foot. So we know that this is a pretty big wreck, probably about 50, 60 foot in length. Um, and we can then go through and actually mark out, so we can say, right, let's mark out the bow there. Save that. Uh, and we'll mark out the stern. Press and hold, and that just brings up the, the, the new waypoint option. And we can then change the name if we want to, the icon. So those are now marked on that point, and that will also be overlaid onto the chart itself. Um, one little feature that we haven't touched upon with this side scan sonar, um, on the HDS and the Simrad series, we actually have the ability to overlay this onto the chart and it gives us what we call structure map. Now, we can't really simulate it very well here because this is just a, a demo image, but you'd be basically seeing this side scan image overlaid on the chart. So as you travel along, if you're watching your vessel icon um, on, the, on the navigation chart itself, as your vessel travels along the, uh, the, the chart, you would see the recording of that, so that structure um, map overlaid on the chart itself. So again, when you're trying to pan out and, and, and look for your wrecks and things like that, 
you're going to get that information shown. We'll just see if we can turn it on here. So if we go into overlays and then structure. Ah, there we go. So we've got the, the, the structure map being overlaid. So where our vessel's tracked up and down all around here. It looks a little bit messy again because it's a, a demo image here, but it's overlaid that structure scan image onto the main navigation chart. Now, now Craig, on those uh, on that menu, I'm sure, sure I saw a little picture of a camera. It looked like video. What's that for? That's it. So on the bigger screens um, and on the, the, this Simrad series here, um, we've actually got the ability to link in video cameras. <coughs> so what you have is you can have a couple of cameras mounted around on the boat. You've got two video inputs. Um, now it won't show a lot here because we're on a demo mode, but if you've got a camera on the um, on the back end of the boat, you can keep an eye on the crew that are, uh, are on the back end. Safe, the safety back. aspect as well, That's yeah. It, yeah, so, and for manoeuvring. So when you're coming into berth, um, if you're on a, some of these big boats, you've got quite enclosed wheelhouses, so you can't see the back end of the boat. Sure. So you can have the screen split, have the video camera show in the front half and, and a video camera show in the back half, and you can make sure you're not going to whack the thing into the pontoon when you're coming into That's berth. That's a good idea, and it takes into account, obviously, uh, two cameras there. That's it, yeah. Oh, good idea. Now, what's this larger screen I see? So again, that's the same. Um, this is the NSS. This is in uh, in the 12 inch. That's the biggest that we do. Again, these are all um, daisy chained together, so we can share radar between the two. Uh, this nice little image here that's actually come up on the uh, on the down scan sonar is actually showing us. This is a, an image of a, a wreck that um, that was taken. So if we uh, let's just see if we can get it to clear up a little bit. So we can see here. There's the seabed. There's the wreck all protruded out from the seabed, but what you can see here, all these lines, this is actually a, uh, where a trawler has gone over and snagged their net and they've had to cut the net away and that's the net draped over this obstruction on oh, the seabed. Oh, on the top of the wreck, I see. So you yeah. can even see how detailed, so this is showing how the, the clarity that you can get with this side scan and the down scanning sonar. So you can see basically there, like that comes along, this would be the superstructure with the net over it, I guess. That's it, exactly, yeah. So we can see here's the normal, the regular seabed, uh, a bit of debris there probably couple of little small shoals of fish. Fish won't show up too great on the on the, the diamond scan because it's really about getting the structure definition. Um, but yeah, we can see there's lots of snags and masts coming up off of this obstruction on the seabed here. And then you've got the, the nets. You can make out the lines of the nets there. And that's a good idea if you've got a load of wrecks to go to in one day. I mean, we've all been out there and uh, you know lost gear on a wreck. So basically a skipper could, could run this scan over even a new wreck and decide whether it's actually worth fishing there and losing all your gear on or not. That's you know, it, if, it's exactly. been, if yeah. it's been snagged by commercials. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Another thing with the, the Simrad series, Simrad being used for the bigger boats, you're not necessarily going to want your radar with your plotters. They're also going to want things like autopilots. Now on this NSS series, what we have is if I press this standby auto button, this will bring up our autopilot controller page. So if you're using this with one of our Simrad autopilots, we can actually go through on the screen here and control the pilot. So we've got, um, we can apply port or starboard rudder. Um, it will show when we have a route, it will give us the, uh, the course that you're traveling on and your heading all on here. So you can just have that all on one screen. So you're not having to clutter up your dash with a number of different keypads, displays. Sure. You've got it all on one nice little neat display. And what sort of cost are those running out? We're talking 2013, what's the, what's the average so, cost on one of these? I mean, the little seven inch one here at the moment, yeah, that's retails at about eight hundred pounds, so that's a lot of unit for the money. I'm going to say it's bearable price, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and then jumping up the scale to the twelve inch, they're about two thousand three hundred. Um, this seven inch, that's got a GPS aerial built into it. You've got your sounder built into it for your, for your fish finding. So all you have to do is plug a transducer in the back. You're not having to buy lots of different boxes to be able to get your sonar and radar and things like that. Um, and it will also display radar, so you can link one of our nice broadband radars, plug that straight in the back, and you're away. No, that's good. So it's pretty, pretty well. These you three units cover every eventuality for those uh, charter skippers or boat captains that have got larger vessels up to, well, I guess, thirty feet to eighty, ninety feet, or even larger. That's it. Yeah. I mean, you get a, a lot of this stuff is even on your your big sun seekers and things like that. They're they're, they're all using this sort of thing that, on the Simrad side of stuff. Good man. Well, thank you very much for that, Craig. Appreciate you helping us out here at a totally awesome fishing show. Not a problem.